Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And well, the ETH dev call happened this morning. Uh, it's a lot to unpack, and I'm not going to do it full justice. But basically, there was a lot that happened this week, and I just want to talk about it. Uh, first off, on May 25th, uh, there was a seven block deep reorg. Um, and it wasn't a huge impact. It was just interesting to me that something like this is happening. Uh, as well, we had the Robston uh, test net uh, where a miner was in there, you know, using hash rates and kind of trolling uh, and messing up things, so to speak. They basically, with the increased hash rate and such a low difficulty, uh, what was going to happen on the test net is the fork was going to take place much earlier than what the devs were trying to accomplish. Um, and then left them some notes, you know, it's a stress testing Robson network to see what would happen if the merge happened out of schedule, we'll recover ASAP. Uh, and you know, it, it's unfortunate, uh, because that, that, you know, the animosity between the devs, or, or I guess you could say the Ethereum community and the miners is just growing more and more, um, Obviously, miners feel disrespected. The devs are doing what the project planned from the jump. And so it's kind of breaking up the culture even further. It's still moving forward. You know, there's a lot of things to unpack. Uh, you really need to look at the links that are going to be in the description as far as the postmodem for the Rospin uh, TTD. Uh, plans are to extend or um, increase the TTD. So that way, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, it's the hash rate would have to be double uh, of the current Ethereum mainnet's hash rate just for it to have any type of effect. So basically eliminating this from happening. Um, the meeting did say that it kind of felt like everybody was not on the same page. They're on the same page. Uh, but there's a number of things that I saw here. One, the devs are... In agreement on what needs to happen the merge needs to go forward uh some want a three to four month delay on the difficulty bomb which would give miners more time to mine uh but some don't want to delay because they want to keep that pressure right they want to keep it to move forward and i kind of agree with that right even as a miner i agree with that if, if ethereum keeps delaying the difficulty bomb it, it takes the pressure off to move forward with the ethereum merge and if they keep doing that and they keep delaying it uh, they're probably going to lose uh, investments or people that want to continue to work within the project. They're going to lose a little bit of that respect um, that they already lost from most of the miners, but maybe not all. And so it's actually just going to hurt the project if they delay the difficulty bomb. I know uh, we want the difficulty bomb to be delayed because that's more profits for us, but profits are already going down. The difficulty bomb is having an effect. Yes, it may not be such a uh, an increase in, in uh, or excuse me, a reduction in profits just yet, but it is starting to hit the profits because the block times are going up. And speaking of block times, uh, Tim shared a chart here, and I want to talk about this chart real quick because you can see the projected block time moving forward, right? So right now, I think we're still like 13, 14, somewhere in there. Uh, then it will go up by June 10th to about 15 seconds, and then June 18th, we're going to have to start climbing up after that, probably hit almost 16 or a little bit over 16 seconds and so on and so forth. There's a number of main things that are going to happen here. So June 2nd, I believe, is Bellatrix. Uh, June 8th, we already know about that. But there's also something that I, I believe is going to happen. Uh, Paris, that is going to be around the, the same time that block times are around six, 16 to 18 seconds. But... Um, the person who does a really good job of explaining content like this or kind of breaking down and taking the technical terms, breaking it down for the community is Michael or uh, BBT. So I would challenge you to check him out and keep an eye on what he's saying. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's not, the, the key dates we need to look for are June 2nd, June 8th. Obviously, there's going to be another call that we need to listen to um, afterwards. And then uh, keep an eye around... Uh, the beginning of July for Paris and then the block times to also increase. So the, the block times will continue to increase. And you can see August, we're going to get all the way up to 25 seconds. And that's, you know, 
as this increases, this is going to make the network a little bit less usable and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, so they do need to move forward with the merge before block times get to such a point where they're super unusable. Now, what, what does Tim say we need to move forward? Well, to summarize, the merge to happen, they need the beacon chain to be live. Uh, the BC to activate the Bellatrix upgrade, meaning starts listening for TDD and proof of work chain. And then third, the TDD to be hit on the proof of work chain, which again, uh, they made some adjustments because of what happened on uh, the testnet. And it looks like, yeah, the testnet, they artificially increased TTD up to whatever that number is, which is twice the total difficulty of the current Ethereum mainnet. So we won't see this happen. We weren't we weren't going to see this type of action happen on the mainnet anyways, but they increased it. Um, so, you know, people can have time, you know, nodes can upgrade because they got to upgrade again. Right. So he says here, if you already updated your node to release with the old um, Robspin TTD, you would need to update again or manually override the TTD. So you need to give them time to to play around, test things, go through their checklist, make sure everything's good to go. Um, and so when the miner hopped in there and artificially, you know, increased the timeline that caused issues, obviously. So now they have it artificially increased. It shouldn't be a problem. They can go ahead and test and move forward. Uh, the timeline for the uh, Robson upgrade is Friday, Monday client releases out. So you should be updating if you're one of those clients that need to that were on the old one. Uh, Tuesday or number two, Monday beacon chain Genesis. Monday, Tuesday blog announcement. June 2nd, which is next week, that's the Bellatrix upgrade. That's the one I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, June 3rd, TTD chosen. And then June 8th, TTD hit on Robson proof of work chain. So again, June 2nd, June 8th, and I want to say the beginning of July is something I'm keeping an eye on if I can find the chart. Wherever I put the chart. The chart's somewhere, all right? I put the chart somewhere, but... We're going to hit those high block times and it's going to be a problem for the network. Um, basically, I see a lot of conflicts with <laughs> internally, I guess you could say, with the ETH devs. And I could be wrong because I'm not I'm not in the group. Right. I'm just telling you what I see. And I'm not an expert as they are. You know, you got to have respect go both ways. I know a lot of us are. And when I say us, I'm saying miners. Right. So I am a miner, but I understand both sides of the argument. And I have no animosity towards anyone, but I can I can kind of see from the outside looking in, there's kind of a, a, a conflict internally amongst the ETH devs. Uh, there's not an agreement on everything. And if they do delay the merge, trying to coordinate everybody to agree on, you know, this is when the merge is going to happen. If we did delay it by three to four months, which would put us, what, September, which is what I called for. So I said August, September over my past couple of videos. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, they called it August. So they're still shooting for August, but if they delay the difficulty bomb, that does not delay the merge, uh, but it does give a little bit of room. But then we're going to have to battle increased difficulty, increased block times. And it's it's just there's a lot of uncertainty. And I think that's making people worried because it sounded like some of them were afraid or concerned, not afraid. And, and again, no disrespect to the devs. If you watch this, um, they were concerned that, uh, you know, if 51% of the network on the proof of work chain uh, colluded, you know, we would create our own fork and still have an, an, an Ethereum proof of work chain, so to speak. Uh, I don't think that would necessarily happen, not unless uh, one of the basic biggest ASIC manufacturers are against them and change their mind all of a sudden. But we'll see how things shape out. Just keep an eye out on June 2nd, June 8th early July, keep an eye on the block times, continue to stack those sets. Uh, and we're just going to have to wait and see how things pan out in the long run. But that's my short and sweet summary. I'm sorry if I added any more confusion. I'll leave links down in the description to resources that could possibly help you out. Your best bet is following Tim. Um, he's doing really good about posting out updates on there. And uh, yeah, do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support this channel. And I appreciate your time and effort. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.